Flying on an airplane has become pretty standard practice in these modern times. Most people that you've come in contact with in your life typically has been on an airplane at least once at one point in time. Gone are the days where flying and travel by air is exclusive to only the rich and wealthy. Thanks to technological advances, your average Joe can purchase a plane ticket and go wherever it is at their heart's desire. Most people typically either travel for leisure, they're going on vacation, or they're traveling on the corporate dime for business which I gotta admit is very nice. However, with this wide array or variety, if you will, of people that will be flying on airplanes, you are going to see people that are either weird, they are entitled, or in this particular case, they just decide that all class is going to go out the window, they can wear wherever it is that they want in first class, However, turns out they can't wear whatever they want and they get denied. For today, I have a quick video clip that I want to show all of you of a woman who apparently is Persian. That's her whole identity. She's a little entitled. She decided to wear some hoochie mama outfit to the airport because she was flying first class. There was an altercation. She ended up getting denied boarding. Here's a clip now. We'll go over the details after. They called for a police officer on me. She did. Because of what I'm wearing. Insane. If there's a dress code, it's not that I didn't want to move. I had every, I said I'll move when I see the dress code and, and they don't want to show me a dress it's, code. We, it's hard to bring it down here, but come up and she, when she come out, she will put it up in the computer, she will show. But you have to understand how I'm feeling. I paid $2,000 for a ticket and just because someone says I'm offended by what this girl is wearing, like I don't care. So, so, I understand where you're coming from, but then you have to see on side, there have been this, they can deny boarding for any reason, so. I know you purchased a ticket, but if they deem like they don't want to fly it, they can deny you boarding. Okay? So first of all, I have absolutely no shame in saying that that girl's voice is so annoying. It's like glass in my ears. I'll never understand why people feel the need to talk like that in such a condescending voice. Very, very annoying. However, I'm going to look at both sides here because I do believe there is some merit here on the girl's side. Do keep in mind, we don't have full context of what happened prior to this altercation and her inevitably getting denied. I think she said for like three flights. Apparently, it is a dress code issue on her end. I will argue she's saying it doesn't say exactly what you're supposed to wear in the dress code and then i looked it up for american airlines it is very vague it just says you have to dress appropriately now of course here in 2024 dress appropriately could mean a lot of things you guys have ever gone to any gym they are basically wearing lingerie over there and that's considered dressing appropriately you can't say anything about that and also as somebody that lives in florida i live in tampa i fly to miami a lot Especially when I got those late night flights, you got the, the girls that are wearing the seemingly club attire getting ready to go party over in Miami instead of driving, they fly, and nobody says anything to them. All that being said, while I'm not technically trying to be judgmental of this girl's attire, considering she said she allegedly paid $2,000 for her flight, she's flying first class, I believe in public spaces, especially if you're flying in a business or first class, some class should be expressed here. The fact that this girl is wearing a woman of the night outfit. Yes, her private parts are not technically out in the open, but it's the idea of what she is wearing. The mini skirt. She's got the girls all over the place. Again, women, by all means, I believe that women should be able to do what it is they want. However, they are not free from consequences. Nobody on this earth is. It is at the discretion, however she wants to look at it, at American Airlines' discretion. If they decide that her attire is showing off a little too much, there's not really much that anybody can say about it, let alone this girl. If there is an issue, you are at an airport, I would assume that there's probably plenty of shops. If you really want to take the flight, just go to one of these shops, buy some, maybe some jogging pants or a hoodie. I can almost guarantee you there is some over there. Put that on, and then when you land, you can go ahead and put your woman of the night outfit back on.
With this controversial topic or conversation, people have been pretty one-sided overall. At the most, I might have seen, I guess if I had to put it into a percentage, a 70-30 or maybe like a 80-20 seems more like it. But most people saying that this girl's attire is a little bit too much, especially considering she's allegedly in first class. Now, overall, of course, there are some people that are saying, well, she can wear whatever she wants, she's in a free country, it shouldn't matter. Yes, that is technically true, but again, you have the discretion of the airline. As far as the attire, I'm not somebody that believes you should be dressed to the nine when you're traveling. And of course, there are going to be some situations where you should be able to kind of just look like you fell out of bed to some extent. Please brush your teeth and shower. However, if you have a red eye flight or you have, let's say, an intercontinental flight, you're going from the United States over to Europe or Asia and you got a 20 hour flight, again, clean yourself up. But if you decide you want to wear some pajamas and some flip flops because you're probably going to be sleeping or laying down most of the flight that is completely 100% understandable in my opinion moral of the story here in this era where attention has indeed become a form of currency you have a lot of people that have what I like to call main character syndrome they don't know what type of attention they want they don't know the type of attention they're going to potentially attract they just know they want attention in this case this girl got the wrong kind of attention and just didn't work out for her. did she deserve to get kicked off of the flight well I'll leave that up to you personally if it were up to me if you have some set of standards i do believe american airlines they need to be a little bit more detailed a little bit more specific as far as what you can wear especially considering the climate that we now live in that's something that may need some adjusting but let me know what you think in the comment section below of course hit that like button subscribe to this new channel if you haven't already and as usual i love and appreciate every single one of you i'll see you later take it easy